Now we're on the I-9 block, and the I-9 block is an EPP modified block, so we're going to turn into the booklet to see exactly where it is, and it's on this side. So they've changed it so the angles and the triangles are a little easier to deal with, so instead of dealing with this kind of a thing, they've simplified this, made this into one big, you know, triangle unit, things of that nature. So I have a directional stripe fabric, so during my bag sort, I put arrows on here to indicate which way each piece goes. And during my block prep, I decided that I wanted the stripes to go this way. So all I did was made sure that my arrows were going in the same direction on each piece. So now I have all my stripes going at a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to start in the middle of this particular block and assemble this unit here. And now this is going to be the same type of assembly that we had on another block so that you have to find the absolute middle of each of these pieces to the absolute middle of this one so that you can make sure that you get the correct angles as you work your way out. So this section attaches to these and then this section and then these. So right here is square and a square and a square and then a flying geese unit with a triangle at the end and then this is a whole section here. So we'll be able to break this down piece by piece. And like I said, this is the first unit here. You have to find the middle of each side of this line so that it lines up correctly and you get a straight line here. And then you find the middle of this one to connect to this point and we'll go over that. So I'm gonna start with the middle section and my basting. Okay, so I got a little carried away before I was filming. So I have the center section here completed what I did is I've made a little pencil mark in the middle of each side of my square and then I basted my triangles one side two sides and then this side was last and I found the middle of that side with a pencil mark and then I lined up my little pencil marks and taped it and then stitched it and I did that for all four sides So I've got these two opposing triangles on and I tried two different methods. What I've done is I put the little mark in the middle and then I stitched them together. On this one, I taped each side and then I started at one end to the middle and the other end to the middle. And if you notice, you'll see that this is a little off. On this one, I only taped it in the middle and then I started in the middle and attached this way and then attach this way. So this has been more accurate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over here, take this off, and do this on the same method that I did on this side so that it's properly centered. And then I'm going to baste my other two triangles and attach those in this with using this same method. So I got my middle done. Got all my pieces taken care of here. And so then this is what my middle will look like when it's flipped over. My next section is this flying geese unit right here, these three pieces, so I've got them basted. I basted the outside edge first and then the hypotenuse last to make my tags be on the outside. And then this one, I basted the hypotenuse first and the legs of the triangle last to make sure that my tags go away from this connection. And there's not going to be, this is going to be here and these are going to be on the edges, so that should be okay. So I also have another unit on this side that I will do the same thing with. So let me get this assembled and then I can attach it to my center section. So I've assembled my flying geese unit down here and I'm going to attach it to my center piece and I've basted my outer triangle. I'm going to attach that so I can have this whole section together. Now I've connected my pieces and my stripes are all going the same direction because I had my little arrows all in the same direction. So I'm happy about that and I'm going to do this other end now. So I'm getting ready to put these other two pieces on and I just wanted to make a note that I'm using the same, same technique as I used on the center sections. I found the center of my triangle and I'm going to match it to this point with a single piece of tape and then stitch from the middle out on each side because that seems to keep it centered the best. So I've got that marked, and I've also got this one marked. I'm going to do the same thing here. 
so that I can make this as straight as possible. So my entire center section is now complete and I've got all this ready to go. The next section is to base these and add those to the sides and then construct these units of four separate triangles. So I've basted my slanted edge. I did the little short sides first and then the longer sides. And I'm going to attach these. I'm going to line up the end and tape it. And then I'm going to line this up so there's going to be a little bit of take up in here. And I will work on doing my X's on my seams. What that means is when I get to this point, I will take a stitch from here to here and then I will take a stitch that crosses that from here to here and that, and that closes this gap up as much as possible so then it makes this the right size. And then I will attach my other one on the other side. Now I have attached this one side here and this is taped and this is, the, this is what I was talking about about having the take up. So I did my little X stitch thing here here and here so that it would take up that excess quite well. So I will do the same thing in stitching here. I've got my entire middle section done so now I just gotta assemble these triangle units and I can attach them to my middle section. So I am going to base these on this principle of I'm going to base this one first then these two and then the tags will be going towards my uh, strip here. This one I'm going to base these two first and then this one so that it doesn't interfere with the tags from this one. So I'll get to basting and assembling. So I basted these accordingly with these going first and then the legs so that the tags are towards this strip. And then this one I did the sides of the triangle before the hypotenuse so that the tags are going away from this. So I'm going to connect these three and then I'll put this one on so that I can have this completed unit here and then I can attach that to this strip. I put my three pieces together for my corner unit and I'm just going to attach the final corner to finish off this section. Got my corner unit put together and I'm just going to slide it up here and attach it to my strip. Okay, now I just finished my other corner unit and I'm going to attach it to the remainder of my block. Now that I have attached my upper left hand corner segment, I now have a completed I-9 block.